good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got redmi 9 lens lot and uh, yesterday i uploaded a review video of uh, next operating system on the redmi 9 so today i'm going to show how to flash this rom on the redmi 9 this rom can be flashed on the redmi 9 prime as well you need to have an unlock bootloader do not try to flash this rom on lock bootloader it will not get flash you don't if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader i will provide a tutorial video link in my video description you can watch that video unlock the bootloader first and then you can follow the further steps and about the rom if you want to know how the rom is performing on the redmi 9 you need to watch that review video i will provide a link also in my video description watch the video first then you can decide either you want to go or not and let me tell you that the rom is very awesome very awesome now starting the flashing tutorial do not forget to like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel if you are not a subscriber yet and do not forget to click or tap the bell icon click or tap the uh, select all thank you so much the redmi 9 must be on stock firmware if you are having any custom rom on your mobile phone but the mobile phone must have miui 13.0.1 or 13.0.2 or 13.0.4 i mean to say the android update must be 12. now the custom rom like uh, lineage rom pixel rom the, those rom requires the firmware of 12.5.6 which having android 11 so this next os will not work if the phone is having android 11 the phone must have android 12 now if you are not having uh, android 12 stock rom then you need to flash either the firmware of the 13.0.4 or 13.0.1 or you can flash back the stock rom and then you can follow the further step data will get erased so definitely you need to save all the internal storage data must charge the mobile phone battery to maximum so the mobile can get the rom easily and sync your xiaomi me account in case if you are using it and then must remove it then go to account sync sync, sync your google account once and must remove it and also go to password security and turn off the screen lock right so my mobile phone uh, is having miui 13.0.4 which i just flash back on it so i can show the tutorial from the scratch now if you have done all these things then you can simply power off the mobile phone now about the files uh, links are provided in my video description simply click the link and download these files first of all we have to follow the rom file like this is the first file it was uh, it uh, got released like a uh, first then the ota release and the second or third ota release so we have to flash the first rom then we will flash the second rom the ota update and then we will flash the third OTA updated ROM. Do not try to flash particularly the second one or the third one. I mean to say, if you have like a, have a custom recovery and if you are trying to flash directly the third OTA, the ROM will get flash, but it will not get boot and maybe it will cause the mobile phone soft break. So we have to follow the sequence. Like first, we will flash the first release rom then the second one and the third one and this is the file for those who are having like a custom recovery android version 11 they can flash the they can boot them into custom recovery of android 11 support and then they, they can flash this firmware which is not that big size only 40 mb file and then you can come back and you can also flash the custom recovery with that custom recovery that you have already on your mobile phone and then reboot the recovery the mobile phone will get rebooted into the android 12 recovery the custom recovery and then you can flash the all these three rom files now my, those who have mobile phone on stock rom like miui 13 13.0.1 2 3 4 they can follow the the, the step then I'm going to do first of all uh, extract the custom recovery this custom recovery will support MIUI 13 and Android 12 this custom recovery will get flash in case if your mobile phone is on Android 11 
but it, the recovery will not get boot. So extract the custom recovery of the MIUI 13 and Y12 first. And one more thing that about the ROM and about the change lock and what are the things working and what uh, change is uh, coming with the ROM all that things provided in video description if you want to know then you have to read the description now after extracting the recovery open the extracted folder of the custom recovery so we are having files in this folder coming back towards the mobile phone so mobile phone must have an unlock bootloader mobile phone must be power off we have to boot the mobile phone into fast boot mode press and hold the volume down key we need a data cable and uh, also check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer press and hold the volume down key then connect the cable with the mobile phone in few seconds you will see a fast boot screen then release the volume down key immediately we got the fast boot screen i have released the volume down key the mobile phone is booted into fast boot mode connected already with the computer now on the computer screen come to the uh, i'm already in my extracted folder of the custom recovery double click the flash one file the batch file the recovery will start flashing and uh, the window will get closed after when when it when when it get finished then double click the flash two file done and then double click the flash three file then immediately press and hold the volume up key before me logo appears so the phone will get boot into twrp recovery we got the recovery now just wait for here because uh, this recovery will not respond in the earlier stage after when the, the recovery screen appears you have to wait for a few seconds so we got the internal storage on my computer screen also i will go to my downloaded folder back now the internal storage just uh, i will double click the internal storage definitely the storage is got uh, encrypted so we have to decrypt the storage first come back towards the mobile phone screen tap the second option wipe system partition then tap format data and type y e s then tap here then go back to main screen tap reboot tap recovery so we got the recovery screen once again and the internal storage also pop up on the computer screen double click the internal storage to check the storage is decrypt now or not yes we got the twrp folder over here so the storage is decrypt and we can copy paste we'll go back to my downloaded folder and i will copy the first the main rom file the second ota update file and the third ota update package of the next os copy these three rom files from the downloaded folder and then go to internal storage if you are not having space on your internal storage you can uh, use the micro sd card if you are having it in case if you are not having the micro sd card inserted on your mobile phone if you have one you can insert the inner sd card and copy the rom files on your in storage like the one you have a space on it now paste that three files on the storage of the mobile phone definitely it will take a little time so we have to wait here so the three rom files already copied on my internal storage well we are done from the computer and uh, first of all we can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone and now we have to do these steps first of all tap the wipe system partitions then tap advanced wipe then select delvic art cache data cache system that's all and swipe when it is done then go back to main screen and tap install firmware then select the first next os particle lens slot file name by tapping on it and star swipe to start flashing now it will take a time we have to wait when the first file of the rom gets completed then go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery 
and when mobile phone boot it back into recovery then tap the install firmware and this time select the second next os ota update file by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing now it will also take a little long time now we have to wait and the second file got flash perfectly go back and i will repeat rebooting recovery step once again now if you are asking me that uh, why am i rebooting the recovery again and again why don't i just flash the three files at the same time well i prefer to do like this way now i will repeat the uh, rebooting recovery so we got the recovery scheme back and same tap install firmware and select the third the last ota updated file package file then swipe to start flashing finally the third ota package file flashing done go back to main screen then tap uh, wipe system partition tap format data type yes and tap here do this step otherwise maybe the rom will not start booting and when it is done then tap reboot system the mobile phone will be waiting on this me logo for a few seconds and then finally it will start booting so uh, just wait let the first boot completes finally first boot completed and didn't took that much long time the stock official uh, rom always takes a lot time on the first boot so we'll uh, we'll complete the setup screen so finally the next operating system flash very perfectly and uh, this rom is uh, having android version 12 we'll go to settings then we'll go to my device and this is the next os developer name and uh, the android version 12 miui 13.0.21 and this rom is ported from the indonesia region rom best rom so far for the redmi 9 and for the redmi 9 prime must watch that review video to know that how the ROM is working and performing on the Redmi 9. Hopefully you got help by this video. Do not forget to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.